Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is sort of, there's three main things to say really. I wanted to show you this guitar. This has been dropped off to me for some work. It is the new Fender Paramount Series uh, Electro Dreadnought. Um, then I wanted to see, because I've only got an SM57 lying around at the minute, if you've only got an SM57, which isn't a mic really known for acoustic guitars as such, you know, can you still get a nice recording with an SM57? And then the third thing is the DI that we're going out, the software that we're using for that is the new Neural DSP uh, Tim Henson. It has an acoustic section in it, which is new for Neural DSP. So you're going to hear that throughout the video and you heard it just in the intro thing just there as well. So starting with the guitar then, I'm going to go over some spec and then I'm going to tell you a few things I've found with it. Because, you know, the, the person who's bought this guitar, they bought it because they wanted a new, quite good value, all solid guitar. So... These guitars, they retail in the UK for around sort of 550 to 600, and you do get a fitted hard case with that as well. So on the face of it, it's, you know, it's pretty good value. So spec-wise on this guitar, you have a solid Sitka spruce top, and they are two slightly different colors, but you know, it looks pretty cool to be fair. And you've got solid mahogany sides, solid mahogany back, and then the neck here is mahogany as well. Fingerboard is rosewood. I'll just show you the headstock there. It's quite a nice looking headstock, abalone fender inlay, and you know, the little decoration thing on there as well. And you've got these open gear machine heads, they seem to work pretty good. You've got a bone nut as well as a bone saddle. And then, like I say, you get the um, Fishman fender sort of preamp system in there. It's quite nicely set into the guitar, but it does plug into like the plastic just there and then you've got the battery. I know a lot of people do like them plugging in straight to the strap lock. Um, but like I said, this guitar was dropped off to me. The customer bought it from brand new and I'll actually show you the QC card because it's still hanging on there. So you get this QC card with it and it's telling you things like the nut's been sorted, bridge has been sorted, action height and everything like that has been stamped in there. It's quite hard to read though. And like I said, I've been working on this guitar for about a week because if you're looking at any acoustic guitar really, you want, and the action seems really nice, one of the sort of key giveaways straight away, whether it's well set up or not, is you've got a nice action, nice you know, neck relief and everything, but also your neck, well sorry, your saddle here, you've still got quite good height on the saddle. If you have that, then you're looking at a pretty well sorted acoustic guitar. And the saddle on this guitar from new was no joke, probably almost two centimeters above the bridge which was put in ridiculous brake angle onto the strings and pins and also the neck was like a fisheye, it was completely like that so it was nothing like what the QC card would lead you to believe so if you are looking at these guitars and Fender's reputation with acoustics is quite hit and miss to be fair but if you've come across this and you thought yeah you know what that's, that's, that really does kind of line up to what I want then it's sort of a bit of a buyer beware on what setup it will sort of arrive like because like I said, on paper, you know, you get a nice case, the spec's good, um, and then it comes out set up like absolute crap, so, you know, to be honest, in this case. So, just be aware about that. Like I said, um, I don't, you know, I'm much more sort of experienced with setting up electrics, um, all different kinds of electrics, than I am acoustic, so I've been taking my time with it. I've been taking that saddle down, you know, checking that net relief, and just ever so slowly just bringing it into where it needs to be. And it's probably about 80% there at the minute, it's not playing, I'm not ready to hand it back just yet, but come down a little bit more on that saddle I think. Uh, the neck's pretty good, and then the customer wants it with light strings on as well, so once it's all sorted it'll be a nice guitar, but just, you know, it's a nice guitar, but if you're buying from new and, you know, it's just being delivered to you, as often is the case with guitars, you might have a lot of set of problems and acoustics they're not as easy to set up to the way you like them as electrics are you've got much less to play with and you can't go back per se when you're sanding things down um you know so just be wary of that but like i said next thing really is just to see i was just curious because i had an sm57 lying around you know can you get a nice acoustic recording with an sm57 and what i found when i'm normally micing guitars out acoustics with one mic usually a condenser mic or something I have the condenser mic somewhere around the 12th fret, maybe 5 to 6 inches away from the guitar, and that seems to work. With an SM57, I found it sounded a lot better around, still about 5 to 6 inches away, but sort of 
at the top of the sound hole kind of area, so that's where I've gone. And in the video just now, you'll hear me flip between the DI and the SM57, and you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. Um, SM57, very warm sounding mic, and that comes across when you're recording these as well. And then, like I said, any time you hear the DI, you heard it in the intro jam, that's going through Nora DSP's new Tim Henson acoustic section in that plugin. So you're going to hear all that really. It's just a kind of quick vid just to go through those things. Um, I've been out on the road today. I've got some more guitars for the shop for anyone who follows the shop side of things. So that'll be going up next week. And I've also just finished recording a new song which will be going up soon. Um, I've done sort of poppy stuff and bluesy stuff and rocky ballad stuff. This time I wanted to do something quite heavy. Um, so I thought I'd give that a go. So that's coming soon um, and that's it really so hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll see you again on the next one.